Mayor. Several things I wanted to mention tonight. Uh, first of all, we um, had a successful bird summer event last night. Uh, the city and the county sponsored that and had um, about 300 RSVP and probably over 200 to 10 last night. So the cancellation, uh, I'm sure, played a factor in that as well as weather. And legislatures had a very busy week with crossover day Monday and having a very late day a session yesterday. But our Lieutenant Governor was there, all of our delegation were there, and uh, many members of the House and General Assembly were there, or at least came by and visited, along with a number of state officials and department heads. And I thought it was particularly appropriate last night that the city and county honored Senator Tim Golden with his decision not to seek re-election and to retire. Uh, Tim's been a great friend of the city and the community, and um, he has done many good things that will have a lasting impact uh, for many, many years, and certainly that was very appropriate to recognize and honor him last night at that particular event. Um, wanted to remind you the Isaiah Festival is this weekend. The city will have a booth at that event this weekend. One of the things we, we will be doing is informing people and hopefully getting some additional applications on City Government 101. Uh, that deadline's coming up March 14th, so that's very soon. And, we still have about half the slots available, so again, ask that you reach out to any constituents and ask them to please uh, consider submitting an application. The deadline's March 14th, the class starts April the 7th. Um, and I wanted to uh, also mention, to uh, remind you to set your clocks back, uh, spring forward, I should say, Sunday. So it's that time of year when we need to change our clocks. And, and replace the batteries in those smoke detectors. Chief Rice would want me to remind you to do that as well. I want to remind you that Chief Broom will start Monday as our new fire chief, so make sure you take an opportunity to reach out and welcome him and greet him, and we'll look forward to seeing him here at our next meeting. And um, wanted to mention two final things. We had a, the mayor and I, and, uh, city engineer Pat Collins, met with DOT this morning on about nine city projects uh, and activities that we have going on together. So we had, while we had a good productive meeting and discussion, uh, there are obviously some concerns. They did let us know that as of this time, there is no federal transportation bill that's been approved. Uh, so come August, the Federal Highway Trust Fund will be depleted and there will be projects that will be delayed if that is not reconciled over these coming months, which we all hope that it will be. But that's certainly an issue that we need to keep our eye on and reach out to our federal elected officials, encourage them to find agreement and fund that transportation bill uh, going forward. And finally, I want to mention that, um, I thank the balance of city school systems. You know, we and our school system enjoy a very good and positive working relationship and we work together doing many things that people are not aware of. And one recent example is the school system no longer had a need for five portable classrooms. They had two at Ballast Middle School and three at JL Newbert. And they contacted several entities, including the city, to ask if we had a need or potential need or use for those. And we did. And Henry was getting ready to have to rent some of those portable type um, trailers for um, workspace and office space for the major projects that we're going to have. So we went out and looked at them and found them to be in very good condition. And they basically said they would they would donate those if we would just pay the cost of relocating them. So it was a win-win situation. And I'm pleased to say that this Saturday, Henry is uh, contracted with someone. We'll be moving all five of those. Um, four of those will go to the existing Wicklacoochee Wastewater Treatment Plant to be used during all the construction projects that we'll have uh, forthcoming. And one will actually go in Remerton that will be the site of one of the, uh, uh, the major projects, the, uh, uh, the new force main you know project um, that will be one of the major portions of it so it's it's really going to save us money and these are in good shape and then once we complete the project we think we'll have uses within the city for several of those whether that's at our fire training uh, um, um, division or at the police department shooting range or a range or things of that nature so i want to just publicly thank the Malasa school city school system for working with us and giving us an opportunity to save our taxpayers money and us helping them as well that's all i have mayor okay, thank you, sir